This is Dr. Gregory Dorr for TheraBand Kinesiology Tape. The next taping application we're going to show is going to be for anterior superior translation problems in the shoulder. This is the most common thing that we're going to see associated with shoulder problems, where when they're going through motions, you'll notice that they actually hike up and roll over as they're going through different patterns with their upper extremity. So we have two strips that we're going to use associated with this technique. One is going to be to correct the anterior translation problems. One is going to be to be able to correct the superior translation problems. Our superior translation is going to be the first taping uh, strip that we're going to use, and it's going to be measured from just in front of the acromion process down to about an inch or two past the inferior angle of the scapula. And that's going to be our first cut. And our second strip for anterior translation issues is going to be measured from the front of the shoulder, around the lateral aspect, to the medial border of the scapula. Now once again, we're going to round our edges to make sure that the sharp corners can't catch clothing. However, with our superior translation, we're going to make a Y strip out of this. Which is making two small tails that are approximately six inches long each. In order to make it easier to control each tail, what we want to do is break the backing right at those individual tails. And then our base, as opposed to being at the end of the tape, is going to be in the middle. And what we're going to do with this taping application is place our patient into a good postural position. So we want the shoulders back and down, hand open into the anatomical position. We're going to place our tape right over the posterior cuff with basically no stretch on it. From there, we're going to use the two tails to surround the acromion process using the exact stretch indicator. We want to get up to about a 50% stretch on that tape, and it's going to form a teardrop around the front of the shoulder. Now, understanding that when we go over 50% stretch, we're using this a little bit more for mechanical support, not just for neurologic stimulation. On our posterior tail, the single one, we're going to take this tape, paper off tension, back over the inferior angle of the scapula, towards the spine and the thoracolumbar fascia. Our second strip, we're going to break a two inch box at the edge, peel off our backing, place our base over the front of the shoulder. Now this one's really important, depending on the size of our shoulder, how much stretch we're going to place into the tape. If you have a small, smaller body part like mine, a smaller shoulder, we can stretch this between 50 and 75% without too much of an issue. If you have somebody who's a little bit more muscular, you have to be a lot more careful not to stretch the tape too much because it can roll off when they go into abduction again. So we're going to take that stretch only from the front of the shoulder to the posterior aspect of the shoulder. Again, trying to get about to a 50% stretch. And then from there, it's paper off tension the rest of the way. And in particular, if you've cut this properly, the tape should end right at the spine. Because we have tape overlapping tape again, we want to make sure we use the backing and get a good rub to activate the adhesive. And this is a tape job that's extremely effective for almost every shoulder condition that we have come into our office. The only time this is really an inappropriate situation is when you have somebody with posterior labral tearing or posterior osteophytes, because what it will do is help to relocate that uh, head of the humerus into the glenoid. And if there's problems in the back of the shoulder, you're going to compress the head of the humerus into those injuries, and it tends not to feel as well. However, other than those conditions, this tends to be an extremely positive tape job for almost any shoulder complaint. For more information and applications using TheraBand Kinesiology Taping, visit therabandktape.com.